how to clean a magnetic system filter. Now on this one I have already switched it off. That's the on position. Okay, so you want to isolate it first of all. So you're gonna turn that isolation. You're gonna turn this isolation up here on the boiler. And then you're gonna open the drain off the drain point on this. I catch for the any pressure. Now, I'll be honest, I've already drained this, but I've drained the system because I'm flushing it. So I'm cleaning the filter out, I am. Now, these ones are hand tight, so literally. Excuse me, wrong. These ones are just hand tight, but some of the ones have a key with it, like the AD Magna Clean. Now, what I would always suggest is, before you open one of these, make sure you've got the seal kit, especially on the magna cleans because they do leak. Now, if you didn't want to drain the system down, the ADs and the other bands do have isolation valves, and I will put some photos in the video to explain that. So you isolate it, open the drain point if there's one on the filter, Make sure you've got your bucket. And in here, there's all the magnetite out of the system. Now, never clean this out in a sink, I don't. Always clean it out in your bucket there, or take it to an outside tap. Not, with, with there not being much on this, I'm going to clean this out in the bucket. And then I'm going to add protector to the system inhibitor to stop any corrosion occurring or to prevent corrosion occurring. Um, so, lift off. Yeah, I'm all right. Thank you, mate. Oh, honestly, I'm good, mate. Honestly, just tighten this up. Close your drain points again. So that is all tight there, but in my instance, I've drained the whole system, so I've drained it from the radiators downstairs, so my drain off is now shut, and um, so what I'm going to do, which you may not do, is I'm going to dose the system with protector and inhibitor. Now, there's no tile rails upstairs, that filter's a little bit awkward to obviously get the inhibitor in, so I've just cracked the nut on the radiator, I'm going to put it into the heating system there. Um, so I'm gonna fill. I'm gonna put the inhibitor in, and then I'm gonna refill the system. So now I've got the inhibitor into the system through there. Again, you may not be doing this, and your system may not be drained. You may as well. You may have just isolated at the filter just to clean your filter out. So obviously, if you've done that, none of this is applicable. And now what I want to do, I want to fill the system back up. I'm going to switch the power back onto the boiler. Now this is a digital display. 
you may have obviously a manual this is obviously where you can physically see the pressure gauge there is one inside the boiler here but you don't take the case off if you're not gas safe as you well know and now i'm gonna fill this back up to one bar and then i'm gonna vent the system always vent from the downstairs up um, now I'm not going to show you me that the radiators um, yeah so you just obviously you need to maintain one bar in the system at all time go around with your, with your radiator key let all the air out switch the heating on let your heating run for 20 minutes go around again do the exact same obviously maintaining the one bar in the boiler between one and one and a half and obviously when the boiler heats up it will rise to about two maybe two and a half depending on the size of the system and then you're good to go but that is out you clean on this one this is a glow worm system filter but it's the same procedure on every system filter it'll just look a little bit different